Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to another P edition of the PSD to CSS Online uh, video tutorial series. Tonight we're going to learn about the new uh, date pick feature. It's a way uh, to let your users, when they're using a form that you've built, uh, choose dates. I'll show you an example of it working. Uh, here's one of our demo websites and uh, the form here at the bottom uh, the res rental reservations form. If you uh, click on the uh, date field, it gives you a nice calendar to go ahead and choose uh, choose a, a date with, and it fills in your form for you. So let's see how you make one of those yourself. Here's Photoshop, and uh, this is a PSD file uh, that we used to make that uh, that demo that I just showed you. We're zoomed in on the rental reservations form, and We've got a couple of input text fields here. You can see the uh, the number in your party, num input text field. You can see the email input text field. And for date, uh, for the date, instead of date underscore input text, we have date underscore date pick. You see these other have others have input text. That's how why they those are fields. Um, this has date pick date underscore date pick. And uh, PSD to CSS Online will, knows to uh, to make an edit field there, but to also attach all of the uh, JavaScript uh, required to to make that calendar. So uh, let's uh, see what happens when we convert this. We can uh, save it as our kite, kiteboard.psd and uh, go over to photo uh, go over to a PSD to CSS Online, and we'll just choose our our new file, kiteboard.psd, and we'll up upload it. <clears throat> so right now, PSD to CSS Online is is uploading the Photoshop file and converting it to uh, the HTML and CSS and JavaScript and images that are required to to uh, to be a web page. And I'll mention too that uh, if this if you're watching this video on YouTube. And it's not very clear. Uh, I know it's not it's not easy to see, especially the layer names over in Photoshop when it's uh, when these tutorial videos are on YouTube. Um, just visit the website, uh, visit uh, this tutorials link here, and uh, and follow and look for the uh, date pick tutorial, and uh, you'll have a link there right on the website. I'll have a link to a uh, a high resolution, high quality version of this video. Uh, much easier to see than the YouTube version. Um, so be sure to check that out if, it's, if you're watching on YouTube and it's hard to see. So this is still converting. This isn't a terribly big file, but with uh, it also has a, a lot of menus on it. Um, it's, it's the same uh, demo file that we use for the new H menu feature. And... Uh, uh, it can take a little while to do some of the conversion uh, for uh, when you've got lots of layers like that. Uh, also, there's a fair number of people, other people, using the website tonight, and the more people that use it, the slower it goes. Um, still beats the heck out of waiting days for a Photoshop file to be converted into a web page for you, uh, but it is taking, I don't know, a minute or two here. Also, you'll notice that we have the brand new PSD to CSS online uh, skin for the website. Change the way it looked. Uh, it used to be, well, it just didn't used to be this cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's, oh, here we go. It's finished. Okay. So when it's done, we get a link to download the zip file with all the different files in it, but we can just preview it here by clicking on this link. And uh, as you will see in a moment, here we go. The server's really slow tonight. There we go. So here's our uh, kiteboard web page. Um, here's uh, the menu stuff that I was mentioning about why it takes so long. But uh, right over here, sure enough, we've got an edit field and another edit field. But here in the date field, if I just click it, it automatically opens up the uh, the calendar for me, and I can choose I can choose any date that I want, and it fills it in. So. Uh, so that's it. That's how it works. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot me an email or log into the uh, forums and ask a question. But uh, 
That's the uh, date pick feature. Thanks.